Round number three takes us to the outside of the thigh. In the same relationship that the glute minimus has with the adductor, the adductor also has with the vastus medialis and the IT band. So not only is Logan doing heavy squatting or a lot of takedown defense, putting a lot of pressure on his thighs, but he's also getting kicked in the inner and the outer thigh as well. This can develop adhesions that are gonna restrict his normal or natural movement. So in order to get into the outside of the thigh, Logan's gonna go ahead once again, lay on his right hand side. And we're going to support ourselves with the elbow and get that peak right into the outside of the leg. We're gonna start off very close to the hip and he is going to, every 10 to 15 seconds, move the peak down till we get closer to the outside of the knee. And once again, we can see we're in a little bit under a little bit of stress. He's breathing, we're shaking. We know that there are some pain points in there that is the treasure, guys. That is the gold that we are looking for. Every 10 to 15 seconds, by the time we get down to the end of the leg, it's about a minute, something like that. And in good fashion, what do we do? We move it back up towards the hip. So this will be about a minute or a minute and a half of continuous work, we breathe the entire time to make sure that we are in control of that autonomic nervous system. We're forcing the parasympathetic system to fire. We're diminishing the sympathetic or the get the hell out of here response that the body's trying to produce. This is a calculated attack on the fascia. We're helping the system release any tight tissue, any adhesions, we're helping to melt any trigger points, or anything that may have developed as a result of continuously getting kicked or punished on the outside of that thigh. Feel pretty good? Yeah. Started to reduce a little bit on the way back up? Yeah, I got the spot right here where a lot of leg kicks land that definitely, that's the most tender. And not only that, but if you look on any type of trigger point chart or manual, Right in the center of the outside of the thigh, there is a huge complex of about four or five trigger points. So not only is it already predisposed, but then when a lot of leg kicks are gonna land there, we're gonna have some trauma. But we use the so right, get the peaks in there in that exact fashion, and that's how we start to help mitigate knee injuries or any type of problems that can also lead down into the ankle.